This portion of the news brought to you by McDonald's. McDonald's, I'm loving it. Residents of Shantytown say the 30-day time period given by their landlords to clean up or leave their homes is insufficient and they're requesting an extension. Landowners of Shantytowns across New Providence were given 30 days to comply with the laws and standards related to environmental health or face prosecution. Now the residents feel that if the government extends the time for landowners, they should also get more time. This push to clean up shanty towns follows that assessment report which highlighted some alarming environmental concerns including contaminated water, the improper rearing of livestock and unsanitary living conditions which has led to the infestation or an infestation that is of rodents. But in response to the extension request, Deputy Prime Minister Philip Davis says there must be some counter solution. Extension, they have to give us some alternative as to what is going to happen at the end of that extension. They just can't seek the extension and then not let us know what's going to happen at the end of that extension. Whether we grant that extension will depend on, on that kind of options they give to us, which we will consider. There was some gruesome testimony in the Kofi Goodman murder trial today. Pathologist Dr. Karen Sands told jurors that after performing an autopsy on the decomposing body of an 11-year-old male child, she determined that the person died from blunt force trauma to the head. The pathologist also testified that the child could have suffocated as there was a plastic bag covering the head. Jurors also heard that there were linear marks or bruises and scrapes on the corpse's face and a fracture at the base of the skull caused by blunt force trauma. Now, according to Dr. Sands, there was a maggot mass or a large number of maggots on the right side of the corpse's face by the right eye socket. She testified that the maggots were 5 16th of an inch in length, explaining that their size was important as every eighth of an inch of a maggot represents one day. And due to the size of the maggots on the decomposing body, Dr. Sands said she was able to conclude that the person had been dead for four days. During the proceedings, Goodman's attorney, Jeffrey Farkason, raised a number of objections on the grounds that Dr. Sands hadn't indicated that she saw or examined the body of Marco Archer, and as a result, her testimony was not relevant to the proceedings, but he was overruled by the court. A local entrepreneur is using creative ways to encourage Bahamians to buy Bahamian this independence. Entrepreneur known as Adrian, who owns a makeshift store on Arawaki, says he designed t-shirts and hats with several Bahamian figures to commemorate the big event and is pleased that Bahamians are showing their support during these tough economic times. We did some iconic figures in Bahamian culture like the Ronnie Butlers, the Salindan Pinlands, and um, we did some inspirational tees. We did a t-shirt last year as well. And we offering this year, life is good. Regardless of the socials, life is still good. Keep your head up. The same thing we're trying to do this year. Something different from other people. We're doing skies is the limit, Bahamas. And pick up as, you know, everybody's getting enthusiastic about the 40th anniversary. Um, yesterday was is, is decent. I think today is going to be even better. I see more people coming out. Even last night was very crowded around the fresh fry area. Everybody's in the festive mood. It's regatta time again in Andros. We've got highlights. Island News how Spanish Wells residents are celebrating the 40th. You're watching the Bahamas tonight. This portion of the news was brought to you by McDonald's. McDonald's, I'm loving it. This is your Royal Fidelity Business News. I'm Andrew Knowles. For the three-month period ending March 31st, the BISEX All Share Index closed at 1,389.83. This represents a year-to-date increase of 43.57 or 3.24 percent. By comparison, for the three-month period ending March 31st of 2012, the BISEX All Share Index is a market capitalization weight index comprised of all primary market listings, excluding debt securities. As at March 31st this year, the market was comprised of 27 primary market listings with a market capitalization of $2.963 billion. The primary market securities traded over BICSEX include 20 common share listings, three 
preference share listings in four tranches of debt. The Ministry of Financial Services and the Department of Immigration reminding the public of the immigration and entry procedures for short stay, that's less than two weeks, business and client meetings in the Bahamas where there is no financial gain or employment involved. The government has announced that short-term work permits are now not required for that purpose. However, to facilitate the ease of entry into the Bahamas, the Department of Immigration recommends that the travel details of such visitors be advised to the airport superintendent of immigration at least 72 hours prior to the expected date of entry. And in international business news, shares of Asiana Airlines plunged dramatically in Seoul, South Korea Monday after a Boeing 777 operated by the airline crashed on the runway at San Francisco's International Airport on the weekend. After dropping almost 10% at the open, shares of the South Korean-based airline regained some ground and closed the trading day with a loss of 5.8%. That's your Raw Fidelity Business News. I'm Andrew Knowles.